Apparently Fox News just did a story about me. So, I'm gonna respond to them because they have no way of contacting me. Why? Because all of the carnists took my phone number. Nobody can get a hold of me. So, I have to get a hold of you guys. Eating animals is wrong, McDonald's. Hurting animals is wrong, McDonald's. Share their song and change your entire menu to be vegan from now on. Have you got a second song? My name is Miss Katie. I am that vegan Karen. I'm going to tell you a couple of things in case you want to put them in one of your newscasts. Okay? All right, I'm going to try to make this brief because I know you just want sound bites, but here it goes. I am innocent. I did not do anything wrong. Wait a damn minute. <laughs> what? I should not have had my platform removed on TikTok. No. I am there talking about the animals, about the, rape, the torture and the murder that those poor innocent beings go through. And I'm there to talk about how the Holocaust never ended for the animals. Not this. Are you writing this down, Fox News? No! Okay, pay attention. It's really important. I know that all the farmers will say, oh, but we treat our animals well, but you don't. Animals have a right to their body integrity. And what people have done to me is lie about me. The rumors are incredible. Imagine thousands of accounts in my name. People typing things all over the place. People think it's me that are saying those things. I'm saying those things. Those terrible things. What things? Okay, apparently they, they, people have spread lies and said that I broke eight Canadian laws. I did that. Apparently, um, it's so bad that they feel like that I'm such a terrible person that they feel they need to throw dead body parts on my house. Why? I don't deserve that. The world is messed up. Fox, I need your help. I need you to help me spread the message that my TikTok account should not, account should not have been banned and that people should rise up because freedom of speech is absolutely necessary. I didn't do anything wrong. That's a lie. On the app, TikTok, all I did is I interacted with different people. If somebody was eating meat, I said, hey, how about you don't eat meat? How about you don't pay for the rape, torture, and murder of innocent animals? How about you have some tofu instead? And if a woman was doing it, I said the same to her. I said, why are you paying for rape, torture, and murder of innocent animals when you are a woman who's supposed to be filled with compassion and you know what it's like to have a baby at your breast? You wouldn't want anybody to take that baby away and turn him into a veal sandwich. So why do you do it? Why do you pay into this? Your milk is for your baby, and a cow's milk is for her baby. We need to, we need to transition into a vegan world. We need to do it gradually, and we need to have monetary funds. We need the government to start subsidizing not the meat industry, not the dairy industry, not the egg industry, but into helping us to make the world a better place and to support the people that are trying to grow plants. We don't want to filter those plants through the, the bodies of these animals and then kill them. We need to phase out cows gradually, phase out pigs gradually, and the abuse that chickens take is it's horrible. What's happened to our society? Fox News, I want you to make sure you tell TikTok that they need to give me back my account. And all of the people who have fake accounts, they need to find a way to get rid of them. There's fake accounts that have fake videos of me eating at McDonald's. Of course I would eat there. There are fake videos of me apparently smearing feces all over a restaurant. How can I possibly address each of these accusations? It's impossible. And so people started believing them. I'm not a crazy person. I'm, I'm, I'm a hypocrite. I'm not speaking out for animal rights and then eating them at the same time. I need help. That's tea, actually. We need to figure out a way in this world to have, have a way that people can communicate, but without the message being so distorted. I'm a crazy person. My reputation has been forever tarnished because of TikTok, refusing to give me to verification and for allowing these constant rumors to go on endlessly. Veganism is not about food, it's about food. And I wanna say that that, that all ab abuse is terrible. All oppression is terrible. Our society has lost their minds. So Fox News, if you did an article about me and you want to interview me in person. In the middle of a pandemic? I don't even know what to tell you. What am I going to do? Give you my phone number and you're going to call me up? That any time I give out any kind of information at all to anybody, it is completely bombarded. I gave out an email address and I, it was impossible. I got... Thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of fake emails. I get pizzas delivered to my house because people think they're funny delivering meat and, and, and cheese pizzas. They deliver these pizzas and they think it's funny, but I, of course, don't pay for them. But who suffers? The poor delivery guy. Fox News. I need you 
to speak on my behalf and tell people that censorship is wrong and that we need to restore sanity in our society. And I want my TikTok account back. I want all five of my TikTok accounts back because I was a good animal rights activist and I didn't do anything wrong. Oh, honey. Honey. <laughs> and I want my accounts back. And I'm asking for your help. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.